Hi, I'm Mark, one of the founders of Langfuse. Welcome to day four of Langfuse launch week, and we are thrilled to release a large update to the datasets experience. Quick recap, datasets in Langfuse enable easy benchmarking evaluation runs as they store a reference list of inputs and outputs to test application against it later on. For example, if an application struggles with hallucinations in production, you could maintain and update a dataset which includes all the edge cases that caused hallucinations in the past. If you then run your application against this data set, you will see whether it changed leads to the improvement that you wanted or whether you have some regressions, for example, in CI. Let's have a look together at what changed. So if we jump into data sets, uh, we first of all see that we now have metadata across all objects within data sets because we realize that many custom workflows depend on additional configuration information. So metadata just helps to, to store like additional stuff related to, to data sets. If we jump to the dataset items and a single item, we see that we now have like an all new uh, JSON editor uh, across the dataset feature, which includes like all the things you like about an editor, like multiple cursors, automated indentation, like all the things you might want to have if you if you really added a lot of JSON within the UI. Regarding dataset items, you can either create and maintain them in the UI, as I've just shown you. Um, you can create them via the Python and JavaScript SDKs and push them to Langfuse, but you can also create it directly from Langfuse tracing. So if you, for example, see a new regression in production, uh, receiving negative evils on this, you can then uh, hit add to data set, add to your data set, edit it a bit. So for example, if you want to change the golden or correct response um, and then just add it back to the data set. And this works both for the trace level as well as for any like nested um, call that you have in these data sets. Let's have a look at what changed for data set runs. So whenever we now take the data set and do an additional run on it, you here see the summarized uh, metrics for each of the runs regarding average latencies, costs, and your different evils. If we jump into a run, uh, we now see the new um, table, which includes inputs, outputs, and expected outputs, because sometimes it's just easier to compare them one by one within this table view, uh, in addition to the evils that are mapped to each of these runs. Also, runs can now be linked to traces, which is a nice upgrade because previously uh, only linking to observations within a trace was possible. If you want to learn more, uh, check out the change log because many things have changed across datasets and maybe especially the public API is interesting as we've seen many teams building custom workflows around datasets to run them in CI, to pull them for few shotting within the application, like tons of possibilities because in the end, it's just like CRUD endpoints to like objects within Langfuse that are easy to edit, create, and then maintain. Um, so this is like a really, really exciting change with, uh, with the API, which is much better and all the other changes that I've just shown you in great detail in this change log. That was a quick summary of what we changed regarding datasets in Langfuse, and we'll see each other tomorrow for day five of Langfuse Launch Week.